Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on uh, the Judas Priest album, Angel of Retribution. Yeah, I've had this album for quite some time, and um, I didn't review it. Not because I forgot that I owned it, but basically because I forgot that I didn't actually review it yet. I'm like, I have like, what, like 60, 70 videos on this channel now, and uh, it's gonna, it's kind of getting hard to keep track of what I've reviewed already and what I haven't yet. Um, but yeah, so I just forgot that I haven't reviewed it yet. Um, I don't really need to, to uh, listen to it before the review, because I have listened to it a bunch of times before, so it's kind of already hardwired into my brain, uh, my thoughts on it. Um... And the uh, music as a whole. Um, yeah, this is the uh, comeback album uh, uh, for Rob Halford. Uh, this was the first album with him since Painkiller. Uh, this is after the uh, Tim Ripper Owens era. Uh, this was released in 2004. Oh, this is... Okay, this is an original copy, okay. So yeah, this is um, not a remaster. I don't even think there ever was a remaster of this. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but this is definitely an original. Um, anyway. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Rob Halford's comeback album. And um, I believe this was K.K. Downing's last album before he left. Oh no! His last album before... Uh, K.K. Downing's uh, last album before he left the band was... um. Um, what was it called? I already forgot the name of it. Um, Nostradamus. There we go. I, I don't know why I forgot the name. But, uh, yeah, his last album was Nostradamus. Um, then he left the band. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, where to start? Okay, so, of course, the lineup. K.K. Downing and Glenn Tipton on, uh, uh Glenn Tipton on, uh, guitars. Uh, of course, Scott Travis on drums, Ian Hill on bass, and the almighty Rob Halford on vocals. Um, this one, uh, the cover, uh, the artwork is actually pretty cool. Um, although, I don't understand why there's a plain black background. Again, some albums, some album covers, uh, some artworks, it does work. Some it doesn't. Unfortunately, this is the one where it doesn't work. Um, you have the Angel of Retribution here, which you would think, like, with that, with Shining in the background, like, with that, with the Halo and stuff, you would think this would be just, like, a blue sky or a white sky or something, but no, it's just a plain black background, which I, I don't think it fits. Um, but the character itself is pretty cool looking. Um, I can't tell if this is supposed to be, um, an evolved version of the Painkiller or not. Um, unfortunately, uh, even though there's a, a mechanical character here on the cover, there is no read-up on the back like there is with most of the characters. Um, just like the uh, Judas Priest logo. And then the track listing. Um, alright. So, first song, Judas Rising. Um, what a great way to open an album. Now, unfortunately, I can't really listen to this album through the CD anymore because it is scratched and broken. Uh, I have to listen to it through YouTube until I could um, uh, have time to buy another copy. Um, but uh, yeah, I have listened to it through YouTube uh, a while, for a while now. This has been the yeah, uh, CD has been um, glitching out for a while now, even though it doesn't look damaged. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so yeah, uh, Judas, Judas Rising is a great opening track. Um, Def is probably the most epic track uh, on the entire album. Um, mm, uh, it just starts with uh, basically just um, Rob Halford with his signature screech. Um, but yeah, it's just an amazing song. I absolutely love it. Uh, Deal With The Devil is the second track. This one's sort of meh. I don't really care for it that much. Um... Revolution is meh. Worth fighting for is sort of meh. Um, 
Demonizer is okay. Wheels of Fire kind of sounds like a cheaper, more crappier version of um, free uh, free wheel burning. Um, I don't know. Angels. Okay, here's where the song picks up for a, for a little bit. Angel is a really good song. Uh, definitely uh, not as epic as Judas Rising, but still really good. Uh, still very, very um, energetic. Uh, Hell Rider, my uh, uh, my third favorite song from the album. Uh, it's definitely the um, one of the highlights of the album. It's really cool, really sinister sounding. Very um, uh, you can tell the band is firing at full force on the song, just like with uh, Judas Rising. Um, and then uh, Eulogy, kind of meh. And then the album closes with, closes with a song that everyone hates, but I actually really enjoy the song, Loch Ness. Um, but yeah, it's just a great way to close the album. Uh, it's definitely the epic of the album, and it's more of a sort of like a, not really somber, but very slowed down song compared to most of the others. But I do really enjoy it. Um... I love how, like, you, you could just imagine just, like, the uh, Loch Ness Monster just sort of, like, um, just uh, gliding across the uh, lock um, with mist swirling around it. Like, it really, the, this song really uh, brings your uh, 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 imagination to the forefront and really, like, uh, um, encourage you, encourages you to uh, just, like, sit back, relax, and just, like, sort of, like, uh, uh, place yourself in, in um Sort of like the old Misty Moors of Scotland, uh, right next to the lock. Um, but yeah, Loch Ness, an amazing song. Um, yeah, this is sort of a shorter review. Um, uh, overall, a couple really good songs. Um, definitely not a very strong comeback album, if you're talking about the album in full. Um, I do, th yeah, again, Judas Rising, uh, Judas Rising, um, uh, Angel, Hellrider, and Loch Ness are really good songs, but the rest are unfortunately kind of forgettable. Um, I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10. Um, definitely not a horrible album. Again, it has its, has its really, really good moments. Um, but unfortunately they're very few and far between. Um... But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.